project was uh, one of the biggest chances at the moment in the United States to transform the urban center into a something much more uh, meaningful and for the citizens and also the center, a destination for the international visitors to Miami. There are two things that uh, is important. Uh, uh, sensitivity to the neighborhood and basically preserve certain land for the future development because we don't want to make this civic center or city center uh, completely full from the beginning. We created some kind of buffer zone around the compact convention center so that there's also uh, it becomes a public domain but also could be a space left for future development. We devoted ourselves to listen to uh, neighborhood and people, but at the same time, we were looking at convention centers, uh, uh, operation and uh, aesthetics and everything to the degree where you, uh, you have uh, such an effect to the neighborhood. So it came uh, from our internal ambition to transform the convention center to a much more efficient building and also listening to the uh, neighborhood. We all knew that uh, we had to do something game-changing. We knew that the convention center will be the heart of this uh, entire master plan. Of course, it was a key to make the convention center work and then will basically transform the entire neighborhood. We always thought that the convention center was basically too big. So what we did is to reduce the footprint of the convention center. By reducing the footprint of the convention center, you basically make a much more connectivity east-west and north-south. And also create a, such, some kind of weaving effect because we preserved enough public space around uh, civic and cultural buildings so that uh, it accumulates uh, pedestrian flow and creates some kind of uh, a weaving effect. And in order to add a hotel, we didn't want to put it anywhere else but on top of a convention center because we knew that the hotel and the ballroom and the convention center works uh, inherently together. So they're, they're put in a, a single building and also the height of the hotel is uh, put towards the center of the uh, whole development so that it doesn't have any impact to the neighborhood. We thought that by having a concourse, a public face of the convention center towards the south was a very much a key gesture to connect to Lincoln Road. And also this concourse actually connects the 18th street towards the uh, uh, west. So people can actually use this concourse as an indoor connection from 18th street to the other side. And to consolidate the loading on one side, on the north, that also creates a uh, uh, very efficient traffic flow and ease the uh, congestion that is happening right now around the convention center by having maintaining an existing function such as meeting room and concourse we can still absorb people coming from the beach side and they can enter from Washington Avenue to the entire convention center but we inserted a kiosk uh, that serves the neighborhood uh, functions. We wanted to create some kind of a civic band that creates a public uh, interface to both uh, Convention Center and also, also to the Lincoln Road. This band consists of a city hall, uh, a, re a pub, food and beverage building, and then a museum, and then uh, Jackie Gleason Theater. We were very clear from the beginning to preserve Jackie Gleason Theater because that was, uh, we knew that was really well used and people loved it. But we are just restoring the original state of facade uh, and opening up the backside of the theater so that you can also have internal events but also exterior events. We cover the entire parking loading with uh, uh, landscape. So 
in Miami, a lot of things are actually flat, but here you have a very different experience having to have a hill where you have a vistas towards the ocean and also towards the uh, city. I think the, the point of our plan is to create uh, a compact uh, convention center so that you preserve a maximum open space around.